Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Today's topic for Flutter 10 minute series is outline button. Now whenever we are designing a Flutter application and we come to the button implementation the only two buttons that we think about is or we try to use them more frequently is either a raised button or a flat button. But according to the material component widget document we have eight types of button. We have raised button, drop down button, flat button, outline button, icon button, floating button, pop-up menu button and button bar. So at least going forward uh, let's use uh, appropriate button depending on their use case and your UI. So since the pop-up menu button I've already covered in one of my previous uh, series so I would not be, be covering it but at least I'll show you the gist of it where uh, this is what the pop-up menu button looked like. Uh, where I had designed a card and when you click on the icon you get the pop-up menu displayed uh, with the menu item. So I'll leave a link of this particular video in the description. So moving on to the um, outline button, I have implemented a UI where it gives you a clear picture of all the buttons that are available as per the document. So I've, I've updated all the buttons here. To start up with, the first one is the drop down button, second one is the raised button where the first one is without the shape factor and this is with the shape factor, then the next is the flat button, then the outline button, the icon button, then this is the floating button and the last one is the button bar. A button bar is nothing but it's, it could be a combination of flat button or a raised button or an outline button or an icon button. So the only drawback in this button bar is it arranges your button only horizontally. You cannot arrange it vertically. So that's about button bar. So to start up with, I'll show you a brief uh, implementation of all these buttons because you've already done in most of the UI. But my main focus would be only on the outline button. So let me clear the template and we will start with the implementation. All right. To start up with uh, the first thing, um, I have a very simple bare bone flutter project here and um, with the app bar and I've started the body section with a column widget so that I can evenly space buttons one below the other. So the first one is the drop down button. So when I say drop down button, it's nothing but a simple drop down where you have a list of entries and the user gets to select one entry from it. So how do you create it is I've enclosed everything inside a container. So every type of button is inside a container. So the first one is the drop down button and it has two parameters. One is the item and on change which is mandatory. So the item has the values uh, that you want your entries to be. So it could be a string or values or double and it returns that as a child and displays that as a text value and then on changed. At the moment I've not updated anything on the on changed because I just want to show you how the drop down button looks like. So if you look at the emulator here, if I click on it, you can see the same cities reflecting here. Next moving on to the raised button. So what I've done is I have created a container and added a row widget in it so that I can display my two buttons next to each other in the row fashion. And this is the first container, first raised button. In this, all I've done is I've created a raised button, added a color, a text and an on press. So when you create a simple raised button, this is how you get. Now what's a raised button? A raised button, it's nothing but a filled material design button with a shadow. Now you might ask me where's the shadow available. I'm going to show you in a minute how the shadow looks like. Now the second one is a raised button with a shape factor where I've added the round rectangular border with the border radius circular of 30. So that's when you get the circular radius. Now I've given a color with a particular custom color. Now if I remove this color, you can see the um, shadow effect. So let's see. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the shadow effect. Uh, if you want a button with a shadow effect, you can go for a raised button. So this is raised button. Next, moving on to the flat button. The, the only difference between the raised and the flat button is with and without shadow. And it's very plain. And you have a couple of other properties like highlight color, splash color. So if you look at the uh, button here, 
say for example you have an article you have an image and a text you want the user to read more about the article by clicking on the read more link kind of a link but that's a button you can definitely use a flat button and when you click on it you can see that my highlighted color is purple and my splash color is red so when I click on it you can see the highlighted it gets highlighted with one color and then when I leave you can see the splash of red so that's the difference between your highlight and splash color now moving on to the outline button I would say an outline button is a cross between your raised button and a flat button so if you want a button in this kind of a fashion say for example you want a transparent and you want a text with or without shape you can definitely go for a outline button another name for the outline button is a border button so if you're looking for a button with a border definitely go for an outline button now I'll show you the implementation of an outline button so here I have a outline button and its structure and inside this I'm gonna inside this containers I'm gonna add the outline button so it says that it needs few properties so first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a shape property which is the stadium border which gives you a a border of a stadium shape then next I'm gonna add the color which is the background color of the button I'll show you with and without the colors next I'm gonna add a child component to it where it's the text uh, okay I think I'm using the wrong one okay it goes here okay so there you go it has uh, the child and then I'm going to add the border so this is where you get to add your border to the button so there you go and I think it needs um, on pressed there you go all right so similar way I'm going to also add a few properties for this but the only difference is I'm not adding the um, shape to it so the rest all remains the same all right so for an outline button the to get a border you need to use border side property and for the shape if you want the circular or you want a straight square you need to add the shape and the color and the text so that's it and uh, so you would be able to achieve this design and when you click on it you can see that it gives you that background color when you click on it so that is the color that I was talking about with or without the background color so similar way on this also you can see the difference and then moving on to the icon button you must have seen in most of my scenarios I would have used it or the app bar so it's just a simple icon button with an icon property inside it this is also one kind of a button then the floating button where uh, when you open the default flutter project this is what you see the floating action button and you can give a background color to it now as I mentioned the button bar is nothing but it is it basically um, gives you a combination of buttons in a horizontal fashion so this is about outline button and make sure that going forward at least you have a clear picture as to which button to be used in which scenario and um, yeah that's it for this video and if you find this video informative please do like it and subscribe uh, please do share it thank you